Okay, so <laughs> I'm totally doing a story time video right now. And the topic is so funny, you guys. It's weird. It's crazy. My life is nuts. This story time topic, whatever, is about the time I met the side chick. Yes, I met the side chick in person, face to face, like this. So, when I was 17, I dated this boy, and he was the biggest asshole I have ever met. I will never, ever date someone like that again. Like, it was so many red flags with him. And I paid no attention to it. But then again, I was 17. Like, what do you expect? Like, I didn't know. Being 17, I thought I knew it all. He was he was a year older than me, so he was 18 at the time, I believe. He was either 18 or 19, and I was either 17 or 18. It was one of those. So, I was 17 going on 18, and I guess he was 19. And he was very mature for his age. And me, I was still like, you know, little girl, sweet little girl. 17 is still a teenager. Like, you're not grown. You know, that's how I feel. So I was still like a teenager, like literally. So me and the boy, um, we had mutual friends. And we also had each other on Twitter. So he would like tweet me sometimes. And we would talk through direct message or whatever, whatever. Girl. This was the biggest red flag. Let me tell you something. However you meet a guy is how he will be. So let me tell you guys how I met him. We did have each other on Twitter and we did have mutual friends. Now we were speaking on Twitter and we were texting a lot and you know regular stuff. I would try to call him in the morning when I was on my way to school but he would never answer. And I didn't understand why he would never answer. And I'm like is he sleeping blah blah blah. No. He wasn't sleeping because he was on Twitter. So he happened to get locked up. I was the first person that he called. And it was weird that I was the first person that he called because when I was calling you, you wasn't answering. Now you want to call me because you in need of me? <laughs> but you know, I fell for it like the dumb 17 year old that I was. He called me. He's like, oh, hey babe, I'm in jail. Uh, uh. I'm like, oh my god, no! Um, I have a court date this day. Can you come meet me that day? Be there, be square. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'll come. So <laughs> I was such a idiot. I could literally slap myself just talking to him. Like I can slap the I can slap the crap out of myself right now. I will never be that dumb girl ever. But you know what? You gotta go through like this to really learn. So now that I'm 21, I know what I need to not mess with and what I need to mess with, okay? I had to make a choice. I had to make a choice to go to school or skip school and meet him at his court date. So I'm like, hmm. And I was really shook about this because I'm like, what should I do? I like him. I want to be there for him. You know, like, we talk all the time, and, you know, he's cool, and I want to just, like, be there for him. I was walking to school, and I'm like, what am I going to do? I don't know what to do. Walking to school, my school is right here, I'm walking, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go. It doesn't hurt to hurt to miss one day. I walk right past school. I get on a train, I go to his hearing, whatever, the court date, whatever, and I'm sitting in the courtroom waiting for him. So he finally comes, I see him, and he puts on a big smile on his face. And he's like, oh, you're here, blah, blah, blah. He got out, his mom was there, and that's when I met his mom. He entered, well, he didn't introduce me to his mom. I told him, hey, I'm blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that. So, after that, we went to his house. He ate, blah, 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 chilled, whatever. So I went home. So after that, we was just together. Um, he didn't really tell me exactly why he went to jail, but I know part of the reason why he went to jail is because of an ex-girlfriend. So him and the ex-girlfriend got into a fight, 
And this is what he told me over the phone. At the when me and him was talking before he went to jail, I didn't know he had a girlfriend or whatever he had. I don't know. So uh yeah. After the court date, me and him was just together every other day. Like we was together, we seen each other, we was dating. Like we hung out, we was dating, we was together, we was a couple. He was amazing in the beginning, like he was just amazing. And I'm guessing this because the ex didn't try to come back at the time because they were separated. They got into an argument. They fought. And she sent his ass to jail. Over the phone, he was telling me I got into a fight with my ex-girlfriend. She maced me. And she called the cops on me. A whole bunch of stuff. So, a couple months pass. And he starts acting weird. And he wasn't acting weird, weird, but he would just do little stuff like um, he'll go to sleep very early or he'll just, he was just being very mean and he just was very careless. When someone hurts you, I feel like you gravitate, gravitate towards the person more. You know what I mean? Because you're looking for them to care. You're looking for them like, okay, like why are you acting like this? You're concerned, you're worried and all of that stuff. Crazy. Now, he did have a kid. He was 18 or 19 and he had a child and that was a red flag also and and to my concern I didn't see him take care of that child like that like to me he was very uninterested in his child so when I seen that I was just like this is definitely not gonna be the boy that I'm gonna be with you know this definitely ain't it no not a, not having it not doing it I should have left in but I didn't. And the one part that annoyed me is that he would always accuse me of talking to other boys. And he would always say, oh, like, you're pretty, so other guys are going to talk to you, so I'm sure you're talking to other guys. And he would accuse me of talking to other guys, cheating. Um, he would always try to go through my phone. Me and he started acting very just stupid, like a boy. And I would deal with it. I would just, like... I was very naive, I was very just, you know, sweet and soft, and that is not the girl I am today. You guys can ask Vincent, I am very mean. This is when Instagram had just came out. We was following each other on Instagram. He posted a picture of whatever, I don't know what it was, but he posted a picture, and a girl commented, and she said, home is where the heart is. I forgot what picture he posted, but she said, Home is where the heart is. Like, come home. Home is where the heart is. Or some some crap like that. And I'm like, hold up. What is this? So, I click on her page. And I see a girl. She wasn't ugly. I'm not a hater. She wasn't ugly. But she wasn't me. So, I click on her page. I see a picture with her wearing... His shirt, caption said, the caption was something slick. Like, something about him, but you had to really, like, think about it to get it. I'm like, okay, I see him in the shirt. This is his shirt. The shirt is freaking huge on him, on her. And I'm not freaking dumb. So I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. I see another post. And it says, hey, pretty girl. Oh my god, I can't remember what it said, but it says something about a, pre a pretty girl. Something about a pretty girl, like she was throwing subliminals, and she said pretty girl. Of course she's talking about me. Who else is she talking about? Like, who is she talking about? I'm not stupid, duh. I asked him about it. I'm like, okay. I seen this girl's page, and she was wearing your shirt, and just the whole nine. Like, what is that about? And he's like, you're lurking? You're watching her page? Like, what are, you, what are you doing? Trying to basically make it seem like like I'm watching her, stalking her, and I'm, you know, on her. Like, no, boo, I'm not on her. She's on me. I'm not on her. She's the one throwing subliminals, and I had no clue about her. She was throwing subliminals two weeks ago, and I just seen her page. Like, what are you talking about? It's like going off, like, stop watching her. Ah, ah. 
I'm like, okay, well, why are you going off? Like, and he basically never answered my question. Like, so he was lying to me all the time. So he always told me he wasn't messing with her and he didn't deal with her and he doesn't want her and they don't talk. Me and him had another argument. Me and him had an argument one time. He was arguing about something. And I kept ringing down his phone, telling him to answer the phone, and we was arguing. He was basically mad because me and him had an argument because he heard about my previous relationship, which I don't know why he's mad. Like, okay, I had a boyfriend before you. You know someone that knew my ex-boyfriend, and they told you, oh, yeah, she used to go out with my friend. Okay. So it's like the fact that he's sitting here arguing with me about the boy I was talking to before him is ridiculous like you're insecure dude and I told him that all the time I'm like you have major problems and you're insecure like something's wrong with you and he would be like so so like he was nuts he was nuts and I'm happy I ran away he hung up on me and I was ringing down his phone because I'm like I know he didn't hang up on me what is he doing and he finally answered I'm like hello what are you like why are you hanging up on me so he's like, I just, oh my God, I just got into a car accident. And I'm like, oh, oh. Like, I didn't finish my sentence. I was like, oh. And I didn't know what to say because I'm like, so I'm ready to say, are you okay? And he goes off. Is that all you're going to say? You're not going to say anything? <laughs> it hangs up on me. So I'm like, I didn't even finish my sentence. So I'm calling his phone crazy the whole night. He did not answer one call. So finally, I call him. Well, he I don't, I don't know who calls who. But we spoke the next morning. And I'm asking him, like, are you okay? Like, what was you doing? And he was just like, my phone was off yesterday night or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, I told him, like, okay, well, I'll come over there and, you know, I'll take care of you. I know that you're not doing well because you just got into a car accident. So I'll come over there and, you know, if you need help with anything, I'll help you. Which he didn't need help with. So that morning or whatever, I went to his house and I helped him bathe. I helped him walk. He couldn't really walk well because his leg was kind of messed up. He, he was just all messed up. So we was just chilling on the bed. He's sitting on the bed. He couldn't really move. And someone's knocking on the door. And he's not answering the door. So I'm trying to figure out why he's not answering the door. So I'm like, just looking like, I'm just keeping quiet, staying calm. I ain't asking no questions, nothing. Five minutes later, knock, 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 knock. Still knocking on the door. Mind you, before the door started knocking, his phone was ringing crazy and he wouldn't answer. And I asked him, I'm like, who is that? And I forgot what he told me. He told me some bullshit lie because clearly it was a girl. So I was just like, whatever. I don't really care. So knock, 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 knock. The door is still knocking. The door is still knocking. So he finally gets his crippled ass up and he walks to the door. He looks through the peak hole. And he closes it very slowly so that you couldn't hear it. And he's laughing. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> laughing, walking away from the door. He didn't answer the door at all. So I'm like, hmm. So something told me to go to the door. I said nothing. I did nothing. I got up and went straight to that door and looked through the peak hole because I'm trying to figure out why you're not answering the phone. I'm trying to figure out why you're not answering the door. And I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is funny, okay? So I go to the door and I look through the peephole. I see a girl, the girl from Instagram who had on his shirt. I see her, like, looking in the peephole and trying to figure out when the door is going to open because I'm sure she heard the peephole open. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be some lame and not open the door. Like, I'm going to open the door. Let's, let's figure this out. I unlock the door. I opened the door wide and stood beside the door just just so that she can come in like I want you to come in you're welcome come in so I closed the door I locked the door and she goes to the back to where he was at and he was in the bathroom so she stands there and she's looking at him so I go to the back and I stand next to her and I'm looking at him like really 
sweating bullets like if i ever see a cartoon and sweat is literally coming out and just like this that's how he was sweating swear to god like sweat was literally coming out he's like this <laughs> wiping his sweat laughing like a f***ing goofball so i'm like what's funny and he's like he's he didn't say nothing so i'm like you told me you didn't mess with this bitch no more <laughs> and I said that in front of her and she didn't say anything she didn't do nothing so whatever I'm like you told me you didn't f with this bitch no more and he's like he really wasn't saying anything he wasn't so I'm like so y'all still mess around I said that to her and she's like yeah we sleep together every night so now that I know that they sleep together every night it's making sense of why he's going to sleep early why he's telling me he's going to sleep at 10 o'clock it's making sense to me now and um i'm like okay and me and her basically talking and she basically told me like you know he talks shit about me he sleeps with he sleeps with her every night and their kids play together because he has a son she has a daughter and they're together they're a family and and they're having unprotected sex She was like, if I tell you what he said to me, your feelings are going to really be hurt. I'm like, they're not going to be hurt. Tell me. But she didn't want to tell me. But she was just saying that to make me curious, which I didn't give a hell what the hell he had to say about me. So I'm like, I'm like, you're full of shit. S-H-I-T. I don't want nothing to do with you. And I said this while she was standing there. I'm like, I don't want nothing to do with you. You're a dumb ass guy. And I went off. I got my stuff. And I left. So, and she also told me that, and she also told me that he was with her. She was with him at the hospital. She took him to the hospital. She took care of him last night and all of that. So I'm like, okay. So she basically knew about me and she was his ex-girlfriend, but he was telling me that he wasn't messing with her. But me being 17 years old and being very silly because this was like my second boyfriend ever, um, he, I was believing what he was saying. Mind you, they lived next to each other, and I lived across town. So, it was a struggle to get to his house. I was so upset, like, I got my stuff, I left, and I was just so pissed off. I called my best friend, and I'm like, guess what just happened? I'm walking to the train station, I'm like, guess what just happened? Like, he's full of it, blah, blah, blah. Guess who's calling me on the other line? This guy. So I answer. So I'm like, hello? He's crying on the phone. Mind you, when I had left, I was getting my stuff in the back room. I'm getting my stuff together. I'm putting on my sneakers, blah, 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 blah. I come back in the front to go leave. Them two are sitting there drinking and laughing together. I'm like, this is normal for y'all? Like, are y'all dumb? you me and her didn't have any type of negative energy towards each other we wasn't gonna fight because i was not about to fight and get my hair pulled over this guy he was definitely not worth it so i was just like whatever girl have him so um while i'm leaving he calls and he's like baby i'm sorry please forgive me oh i just want you i'm like Dude, you have a whole nother relationship. Like, what do you mean you want me? Clearly, I'm not, I don't have anything for you if you're with the next girl sleeping in her bed, in her house, and you're 18. Mind you, let's just get this together right now, okay? He's 18, right? Guess how old she is? She's 28. Or how I, she was 27 at the time, actually. No, she was 28. She was 28. And he's 18. And I'm 17. So, she's allowing this, this young boy to sleep in her bed and have sex with her 
while he's having sex with other girls and he's not doing anything for her. He's not bringing home any money. He's not paying no bills. But he's in her bed, in her house all the time. And she's nearly 30. And he didn't even reach his 20s yet. Like, girl. At that time, I was hurt, but I was getting over him. And in that process of getting over him, it was really tough for me. I was getting over him, and he was just acting to be back with me. And I was just like, mm -mm. And I wanted to because he was like the only boy I was talking to at that time. But I was just like, I'd rather be lonely, you know? So I broke up with him. His birthday came, and I didn't say happy birthday to him. But that's because he didn't say happy birthday to me the year before. And like I said, he was really mean to me. So I didn't say happy birthday to him. I treated him how he treats me. He treated me. And on that same exact day of his birthday, I met the boy that I love now. So what a coincidence, right? It's just, I don't know, it's funny. <laughs> so yes, I met Vincent on this boy's birthday, which I was already done with the boy, but he was, me and him didn't really speak like that. We was just like, you know, text sometimes. But I met Vincent on this boy's birthday. I didn't speak to the boy on his birthday. I didn't speak to him after his birthday. I didn't speak to him for a whole week after his birthday. And I didn't care. I guess he was mad. But I met Vincent. And the day that I met Vincent, my boyfriend, I was like, okay, this boy is out of the way. Because since day one, I knew that Vincent is the boy I want to be with. Which I'm with him till this day. It's almost been three years. So, yeah. Um, and me and Vincent was together. Like, since day one. Since the day I met him. And that's really how... Things happen sometimes. Sometimes you get over someone and it's so hard. And you meet someone and you didn't even know you was going to meet somebody. Like, you happen to find the person that you want to be with in the weirdest places at the weirdest times. That was a really weird time for me to find the boy that I wanted to be with. And that's why I'm so mean now. Vincent sometimes doesn't understand why I'm so mean. But I'm such a mean person, and he's like, you're so freaking mean, you're so bitchy. He doesn't call me bitchy, but he basically wants to say I'm bitchy. But um, I tell him, like, listen, I've been through some stuff. I just don't want nobody to walk all over me again. So he's like, I'm not going to do that to you, blah, blah, blah. But to this point, I can't even help to be mean. I'm such a mean girl, but I love him. <laughs> yeah, so me and Vincent was together, and... Um, the next week after me and Vincent was together, the boy texts me, and he's like, so you found a new boyfriend, and I hate you so much. Like, he wrote this long-ass paragraph that I have never seen him spill so much emotion to me, ever. Not even when he was in a relationship. Like, he never said anything sweet to me. He never said nothing like that. And because I moved on from him and didn't warn him, he was hurt and he was just like I can't believe you how are you gonna find somebody else on me I'm like boy bye okay so I was just like boy bye like this boy shows me way more attention and he loves me more than you have ever did in a year like this boy is being amazing to me like amazing since day one literally since the day I met him so he was mad and I was just like, stop texting me, delete, block, um, he's tried to come back, but that is definitely not happening. He, I have heard rumors from people coming to me, they, they come to me and they're like, he wants you back, he wants to talk to you, he keeps asking about you, he keeps breaking you up, and I'm like, okay, so, and he writes me, well he was writing me, but he stopped because I don't reply. But he was writing me recently, like, I, I miss you and I love you and I just want you back. I'll do better this time. All of this stuff. And I'm like, block, delete. Nobody wants to hear it. So, 
yeah that's basically the time i met the side chick and the crazy part is it's like was i the side chick or was she the side chick because like she well she was basically the side chick because she knew about me and she was still with the boy and i didn't really know about her i knew she was his ex but i didn't know that they were still messing but um yeah that's the time i met the side chick and it was hilarious like Oh my god. And if you want to see more story time videos, then let me know in the comments because, girl, I got a whole bunch of stories for you. My story, my life is kind of becoming ridiculous. Like, now that I'm looking back, I'm like, damn, this is crazy. So let me know if you guys really like story time videos and I'll put out more for you guys. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Follow me on Snapchat, on Twitter, and Instagram. All the information will be in my description box. Love you guys so much. Mwah.